Hey there, I'm going to show you how to install a external BEC on your electric vehicle here. Uh, I'm using my Wraith, that's the only one I have. Uh, but I ordered Castle Creations BEC 10 amp 6S max input. And you know, there's some stuff on the back there, so it came with that. Uh, came with stickers. And obviously with the uh, BEC itself on a little baggie. But uh, I'll show you how to wire one up here. Here it is itself. Um, you can see how small it is. I'll put it next to something you can, everybody could relate to. Like here's a soda can. So it's pretty small. It says it's 11 grams. So uh, when you get the BEC, the ends of it are already pre-soldered. Uh, so that way you don't have to do that but you have to solder your end on it I'm using these little two pin connector ends I have laying around looks like that but uh first thing you gotta do is solder uh see how here's the power wires to the ESC right there and you tap into them I did with that you can hardwire it in but I use a plug you don't have to have the plugs um, you can see there a little, little focus in I just hardwired in there it looks kinda uh, messy because I used liquid electrical tape to cover it up I didn't have any actual electrical tape and then on the end here I have the other side so this plugs right into there like that uh, then this side We'll plug into just a spare channel that you have. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, then you have to take your ESC three wire and take out the middle wire. See how I have the red one there? If you want to, you can just like cut it or whatever. But I actually took the pin out of it. As you can see, I'll focus in on it, and you'll see that the pin out of the middle is gone. It'll focus. I'm trying to get focus, but not wanting to. Right there. Well, you can see the two shiny things on the outsides. There's none in the middle. What I did, I just taped it up. Well, I need to put different tape on it, but you can see that it's right there, out of the way. So you take your receiver, plug your uh, ESC into the throttle input then you would take your steering servo which I have here I have to replace it which is why I bought the BEC because I'm getting a good servo take your steering servo plug it in like so and then take your BEC this thing here and plug it into an open channel. Now, since the Wraith has lights, it has another extra one here that takes up a channel. So I'll be using up all the channels here, but I'm not going to worry about the lights right now. So take this out. Make sure the brown wire is on the outside. I'll just plug it into the third channel, like so. And then you got to make sure that you plug in that to the power of the ESC. If I can get it, I'm going one handed here. So, do that, and then you plug your battery in. And what that does is, if you need, uh, if you have a servo that requires a lot of power given to it, drawn, then it will get the power it needs, like a high torque servo and stuff, which I'm getting. I'm getting a Savox one that has 440 uh, inch ounces of torque. Yeah, 440. That's a lot. So, and servo or Savox servos are high draw servos. They usually need a BEC. So, you need, I got this. I think it's worth it. So, uh, that's how you install it. Now, if that didn't help, if you buy this, Right on the back, a perfect wire diagram for you to, if it, 
Yeah, see, perfect wire diagram. Get a good shot there. So that way, if you guys need it, you can pause it and read it. Whatever here. And here's the specifications. Good job put. And that's all there is. So that's all there is to hooking it up. So remember, uh, the two wires coming out of the BC right into the power wires of the ESC. Don't hook it up to the battery because that would make it always be on. So uh, you can use a thing if you want to. I am just to make if I have to rearrange stuff, and then from it'll follow it. That goes right into the receiver into an open channel. And one of the big things is to remember to remove the power wire from your ESC's. Uh, three wire part. That's one of the biggest things. Other than that, it's real easy. So that's all there is to it. And I'm, I'll get another video tomorrow up because I'm getting my servo in the mail tomorrow. And then I'll show you, do a little review on the servo and everything. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.